Hey, sneaky nerds back today. Today we've got Calculate Linux. Now, Calculate Linux was from Russia, and it's based on Gen 2. Now, I'm going to tell you now, this is not for beginners, okay? So, we're going to run through it with you. The menu is GNOME, or GNOME, but it's GNOME, really. So, you've got a Document Viewer, GIMP, Image Viewer, LibreOffice Draw, UF Draw, Exane. Chromium is a default browser here. FileZilla is here as well. More LibreOffice, Pigeon, Skype is standard, unusual. XChat. Multimedia, not a lot really. Audio, disc burners, movie player, the rhythm box, a flash player, because it's all supposed to be pure open source, by the way. Pure open source. More stuff for LibreOffice, <clears throat> a QT designer, a QT linguist, and a sandbox. And the system, you've got Calculate Linux install, Compass Fusion icon, disk utilities, the usual sort of stuff that you would get in any known desktop. Less a few icons, should we say. I'm grabbing up the system monitor, and you'll see once it settles down, it doesn't use hardly any RAM whatsoever. So we're looking at 140 RAM. Remember, it's a DVD. This is not a CD. It's a big old DVD with lots of big old stuff because it's Gen 2. So yeah, it's okay. It'll run on most stuff from Pentium Pros up to current CPUs, apparently. Under Utilities, we have Archive Manager, Calculator, Screenshot Terminal, Time Tracker, Get It, Text Editor, Places, the usual what you would think you would get, okay? And the system, you get a control centre here, more KDE-ish, really. Well, it is, really, isn't it? And all the usual stuff you would get in your thing now. Can you see? So I'm going to check something out now. There's nothing really to check out, because you've seen it all before. It's basic GNOME. It's a real short video, this one, because somebody asked they want to see what it looked like after the elongated download, which is enormous. Now, as it's based on Gen 2, bear in mind, the install is a bit slow, and so is the boot from the live DVD. It's a bit of a bummer, really. Oh, by the way, you get a docky bar down the bottom, as you can see. Hello, Docky. Goodbye, Docky. Hello, Docky. We're going to open Chromium, I think. Just make sure the browser's working on Anki Doi for us. There you go. Go straight to their page, and it tells you all about it. Designed for small and medium businesses. And then you say that, businesses. It's not really for the home user, to be really honest with you. Because if you want to actually install any extra software, there's no software center. Oh, no. We're talking CLI City here. Everything is CLI. And as you know, you have to update your repositories with Gen 2 daily or weekly or whatever and go on from there. And it's all CLI, it's blah, blah, blah. If you want something at home, you'd be better off going for Savvy and not this, okay? But if you want to give it a go, give it a go. Anyway, we're going to check out some stuff here. Look, it tells you all about it, how to install it, how much partition to have, add or remove programs, as I was saying a bit earlier. This is what you have to do. You have to update and pull charge first via CLI. Then you have to search for your game. You may have to build it if there's none available. So that's a big old thing, so, you know, it's office only, I would say, it's office only, not for home unless you got a death wish, really. But for what it's used for, very, very good. So, say you're in the office and you want to check out some videos. Now, it's supposed to be all free software. Now, I know for a fact that the uh, open free software flash player don't actually work very well in the tube. So we've got Chromium, and we're going to open YouTube up and we're going to go and find one of my videos, I think. Once it gets its backside into gear, there you go. Slow net connection as well. Doesn't like my net card whatsoever. I'm not getting full speed at all. So anyway, I'm going to put my name in the top here. So we put in Sneak Linux. Not break any laws. Hit the enter. And there's some of my videos. So I'm just going to click on one just to see if it actually works in Flash. So we'll click there. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, well, white screen. We've got a black screen. I've got no swirly things. Does that mean it's not going to work, or is it going to work? Aha, we have swirlies, and we have video. Now, it plays in full screen as well. So this means it's not using the completely open and free source Flash player. This is using Flash, which is proprietary. Now, it's not said in the description that it's totally, totally, totally free, but they want it to be totally free. Obviously, if you want Flash to work, you've got to use Flash. Enough said, you know what I'm saying? Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to open LibreOffice app, open the writer app, just to show you how it opens and if it works. Well, I've opened it quite a few videos now, so it does actually work. We do know that. But does it work in Calculate Linux, all the way from Russia? Well, of course it does. They don't do anything any different to us, do they? No, of course they don't. So I'll open it up. I'm going to type a few dips and bobs in. Let's have a look. What should we type in? I'll tell you what, we'll type in me. So I'll type in Sneaky Linux. This is an area with a default font. Looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So what we'll do? We'll just change the font again, just to show you that I'm not lying. This is Rusans. We'll hit enter. It does a bit of checking for us. Type in Sneaky Linux again. 
looks okay to me, works fine. It's the same as Open Office, Open Office even, but better, as they say, okay? So yeah, we can get rid of that now, can't we? I've shown you how that works. We can discard that, we don't want to keep it. It's just for demonstration purposes only, okay? So anyway, I thought, can we get any desktops? Because when you're installing that and stuff like that, and we're doing like bits and bobs, you get some really nice desktop backgrounds, and I thought, oh, I'd like to have one of those on a different system, even. And there's none there. I was a bit depressed about that. I was, no, really, I was. It was a nice blue one with the penguins swimming about. You know what I mean, if you've ever installed it. So yeah, there's not actually much more to show you. But if you're in a small office and you want to deploy it in an office, say 50 machines, 20 machines plus, this may be for you. Sneaky Linux out. See you later.